Hello everyone, this is Corubido from the Chaos Group. In this video, I will introduce you to the new V-Ray Dome Light feature in V-Ray 2.0 for SketchUp. The V-Ray Dome Light will streamline your workflow and improve the quality of your lighting and shadows when using image-based lighting in your scenes. Prior to having the V-Ray Dome Light, the most common way to illuminate a scene was to use an HDR image for the V-Ray environment texture, which is exactly how we're illuminating this scene. We have mapped an HDRI image to our environment. Let's render the scene to have a closer look at the results that we get when using this method. As you can see, there are plenty of artifacts in the rendering. We have shadows that are not defined very well. There are objects that seem to be floating in the air, and you can see some bright spots throughout the image. We can try to solve this by increasing the GI settings. However, this will create longer render times. Unfortunately, this would still not resolve all of our issues. We could almost resolve them by using a blurry version of our HDRI. However, even this technique will introduce two more issues. Our shadows will be too soft and the contrast of our image will be reduced. The V-Ray Dome Light is your best solution for these common problems. So, let's go ahead and add a Dome Light to our scene. In the dome light properties, let's make sure that we're using the same HDRI that we were using in our first rendering. Now, let's render the scene again to compare the results. As you can see, nothing appears to be floating in the air. We have more defined and sharp shadows. There are no artifacts or bright spots. And finally, the contrast in the scene is very good. The results are more accurate, even with the medium quality GI settings that we have. If you want to achieve this rendering quality without the dome light, you have to drastically increase your GI settings. This would for sure result in longer render times for you. One important thing to note about the dome light is that V-Ray analyzes the HDRI and recognizes where the brightest spot is within the image, and V-Ray treats that spot as a direct light source. To prove this, let's turn off the indirect illumination and render the scene. As you can see, the image is much darker, there's no indirect light bouncing around, and the illumination is coming only from a direct light. You get three major benefits from the V-Ray Dome Light acting as a direct light. First, you achieve very sharp shadows when using exterior HDRI images that contain the sun. Second, it's now possible to render realistic caustic effects using HDRI images if you have reflective and refractory materials in your scene. Third, producing flicker-free animations is now easier than ever. As you can see, the new V-Ray Dome Light feature makes using image-based lighting easier than ever. Thank you for watching this video, and we hope you enjoy this powerful new feature of V-Ray 2.0 for SketchUp.